I want to show you how you can add fixed assets directly from a purchase order in Business Central. And I'm also going to show you how you can add additional costs to that fixed asset after it's already been set up in Business Central. So let's take a look at it. I'm entering my purchase order and I have options for the lines. If I look down here, I can add a fixed asset. So I'm going to do that. If I click over on number, I can see my existing assets, but I want to add a new one. So I'll do that. It brings up this dialog box. So let's fill this out a little bit. I'm going to enter the description and some additional information about this particular item that I'm purchasing on the purchase order. I don't have to enter all this information, but if I do, it eliminates having to do it later. I'm going to specify a start date on this, May 1st, and I know it's a four-year asset, so I'll do that. And I could add additional information if I wanted to, but I'm all set. I'm just going to add this to my system, fill out the PO further, so one of these. And the price I have is $3,500 from my vendor. So I'll enter that. And I'm going to enter the invoice as well. So I'm going to receive this and invoice it at the same time. So let's do that. And now this is the asset in Business Central. It's been added to my system. And you can see the information I had entered from the PO. You can also see that it's been acquired. Right? So I don't have to go through that process because it was purchased on a purchase order and the purchase order was paid, it's now been acquired. So this asset is ready to go, it's in my system, and I don't need to do anything further with it. Now another thing I can do with Business Central is I can add additional costs to an existing fixed asset in my system. And this is one way to do it. I'm gonna create a new purchase order because I'm getting an assembly for this fixed asset that I wanna to add to it. So I'm gonna add that here and go down the line. It's going to be a fixed asset purchase, but it's not going to be a new one. I'm going to add it to the existing fixed asset. It's going to select that. And then I just want to fill out the purchase order for that accessory I'm adding to the system. I'm going to enter the invoice number as well. I've got that. I'm going to post this. So now if I go back to that fixed asset, I can see the original fixed asset. But if I drill down in the book value, I can see that the current value is based on two purchases I made. Here's the original one right here. And then this is the accessory that I added at a later point in time. So this allows me to enter fixed assets from a purchase order, and I can add additional costs to that fixed assets in the future if I want to.